Hello everyone, this is the gigantic box. As you can see, this is the box of the Amazfit BIP 3 Pro. We have already unboxed it. Now we are just going to share our first impression about this watch. So let's unbox it again and start with the video. Some features that are highlighted on the box are 1.69 inch large color display, high precision GPS and LONASS. So you'll be getting GPS on this device. So although this is a budget smartwatch, you will be getting a GPS on this smartwatch. And you also get long battery life, 5 ATM water resistance, blood oxygen saturation measurement, and 60 plus sports mode, which is a lot for anyone. Okay, taking the watch out of the box, let's go. Here is the watch. And the charging cable will be right in here because here's the power logo. Okay, this is the charging cable to charge this smartwatch. Since we already have charged the watch, we won't be needing this, but this cable is pretty long. As you can see, it's uh, quite my size. So you can charge your watch comfortably with this cable. So coming to the watch, this smartwatch is decent size and quite lightweight and the straps are also lightweight. So let's put it on our wrist now. As you can see guys, I have a medium sized wrist. So this watch is suiting quite good in my hand. And the display is truly colorful as the box said. Comparing this display to other smartwatches, this one is quite much colorful than the others. If we swipe from down, we get the notification panel while connecting to a smartphone, notifications will be storing here. And the fun fact is this watch's watch face can be edited. As you can see, I'm pressing holding the watch face and then here's the edit button. We can edit whatever we want here, like calories, battery level, heart rate, steps, etc. I'm just setting the battery level because I enjoy watching that. And there are also many other watch faces on the Zip app. And this watch can store quite a number of watch faces. And you can also delete watch faces from here. As you can see, this watch faces is downloaded from the app and I'll just be deleting it. And now we have one watch faces, which was default. And now let's get to the features of this smartwatch. So swiping to the right side, here is the activity goal. And then here we have heart rate and then blood oxygen, which we can use to measure our blood oxygen levels. And then we have stress monitor, which other smartwatches don't have. It's a race fit special maybe. And then we have the PAI, which is personal activity intelligence, which collects data of your personal activity and calories burned and gives you a score. Then we have the weather section. This watch collects weather data. Then we have the weather section, which collects data from our smartphone and shows the weather details here. And we have music playback and nothing else. So let's see what's up here. We have do not disturb mode. Then we have enable in smart mode, custom mode. We can, we can schedule the do not disturb mode like if you're in work, you can schedule your work time and it'll automatically activate the do not disturb mode, which is a cool thing to have. Then we have alarms, which you can set a lot of alarms. As you can see, I have many, not just five. Other smartwatches like have three to five alarms, but this one can have many alarms. Then we have the brightness controller. As you can see, low brightness, nothing is visible and to maximum brightness, which is very bright. We don't need maximum brightness. Like we just need like 75% to get decent visibility here. Okay, now let's see where the setting is. Here is the settings. Auto screen off is five seconds. I'll increase it to 15 because, oh, maybe 10. Okay, 10 is decent here. Then we have watch faces, which we can also long press on the main screen to go. Then we have screen lock settings, which is a useful feature. Like if your watch automatically lifts up, it will not work until you press this button to unlock your watch, which is a fairly cool feature for some people. Now let's see what's down here. Then we have lift upon wrist lift, 
like when you're lifting your wrist from downwards to look at your watch, it'll automatically lit up. Then we have light upon notification. If you have notification on your smartphone and it's connected to the watch, it will lit up again. Then we have then we have preferences system. If you want to set down or reset the watch, you can use this option. So I guess that's pretty much it for this. This watch is an LCD display, but it's quite high resolution, which is a really useful feature. So at the end of the day, this watch will feel really good on your wrist. And since it is lightweight, you will not be feeling fatigued in your wrist. And you can also wear it while you're swimming because it is waterproof. So you'll be getting a lot out of this budget smartwatch. So guys, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed watching or found this video informative, then don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you again in another video. Until then, take care and stay safe. Adios.